Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing of the brand new Google Pixel 2 XL. Really excited, this just came in. We have the just black version in 128 gigabytes. So we got kind of the top of the line, the top of the line or most expensive one you can get. So here in the back, you have hashtag Team Pixel. That's what they want you to jump on there with Google Assistant built in and all sorts of other stuff. You kind of get the side of the phone there, nothing really here at the top and just regular information there at the bottom. So let's go ahead, there's a little, Take we got a slice off here. Take out my trusty knife, and we just kind of make that little insert there without cutting myself, like I almost just did. And oh, they got a little slot to peel that off. Okay, never mind. We don't need to do that. We'll just go ahead and pop it off like that. Easy enough. All right, let's go ahead and pop that open. Boom. All right, there we go. Looks like we have the pixel here itself. Oh, it's interesting. It's on coming from the back instead of the front where they usually have the phone with the screens up usually and during unboxings. Let's see what else we get inside of here. Okay, yay, welcome to Team Pixel. All right, let's see here. Pop this open, what do we have in here? Probably just a bunch of manuals, guides, and instructions. Yeah, pretty much so. Some stuff like that, probably warranty information, Sim, a little SIM card uh, pin there to put your SIM card in. Let's see here, we have your you have your adapter for USB type C to standard USB. That's obviously for when you want to transfer from a different phone. All right. What we have underneath there, okay. So we have that, uh, that USB type C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter. Still not happy that this doesn't come with a headphone jack or at least with an adapter that you can charge and listen to music at the same time. You can hear my rant about that. You know how I kind of feel. I think a lot of other people share the same feelings towards that. And then we have the USB Type-C cable here. So, have that there. Start putting some stuff on that side. Let's go ahead and pop this out here. And you probably have just our uh, adapter, wall adapter here. Looks like this should be, doesn't mention anything about quick charge, it seems on it, from what I can tell. Can I see if I can pop that into focus a little bit? Might not be able to, but from what I can see, it doesn't seem to have that on there as either, either. So, that's it. All right, I just noticed. All right, just noticed there, nope, nothing, all right. Let's go ahead and grab the phone here. Stick this up. Hi, how can I help you? Okay, cool. Just get started with OK Google. All right, it'd be cool if you could just turn the phone on that way. All right, we'll just pop that up in here. It's my first time playing around with it here. Actually feels pretty good in the hand. Not bad. The texture on the back is definitely different. And you do have the, this is a just black model, so you have sort of this, the shiny or black up here at the top with a matte finish here at the bottom, the fingerprint sensor. We have 12 megapixel camera, which is supposed to be the best camera in the world on a smartphone, apparently. We'll put that to, to the test here. We also have, we have the Google logo right there at the bottom. Here in the front, you do have a six inch display that's going to be in quad HD resolution. You have your front facing camera, which should be about uh, eight megapixels. You have your power, you have your volume on that side. You have a USB Type-C port, nothing here at the top. One thing you notice I'm missing, like I said, there's no headphone jack. Still very annoyed by that, but yeah, what are we gonna do? You do have dual speakers, as you can see. I'm not sure if that's coming through on there. You have one right here and then one right here as well. We'll go ahead and power this on here. Power is on, see how quickly it turns on. Do have a Snapdragon 835 processor inside of it, four gigabytes of RAM. They should have roughly around a 3,500 milliamp hour battery inside of it for the Pixel XL. Um, here and it's also going to come with uh, 120 gigabytes of built-in storage. There's no way to add expandable storage to it, unfortunately. All right, but you do get unlimited Google Photos and high resolution if you use it through a Pixel. All right, you can see here, hi there, English, vision settings. We'll just go ahead and hit start here just to start. Do we want to connect to a mobile network or a SIM card? We'll do that a little bit later. All right, we'll probably jumped into some Wi-Fi networks. All right, let me go ahead and do that. Just give me one moment here. Okay, now we're connected up. It's gonna go check for updates. We are running Android 8.0 Oreo on here, so this is gonna be the latest version. So most likely I won't be able to use any backups from previous devices because they're all running an old version of Android. So you can see here we can copy apps from an iPhone Android device or in the cloud if we want to. Probably just plug it in that way or do a wireless transfer, but we're gonna set this up as new. We're just gonna start off fresh here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my Google account. Okay, signed in. All right, just get a second. I'll unlock with pixel imprint. All right, we'll go ahead and set that up now too. We'll have to set up a pin code. Do that real quick. All 
right. All right, touch the center. I'll actually do this with my other hand here. Then I'll unlock with my right hand a little more often. All right, we'll add another, we'll add the other finger here. You can see how quickly that was, it's pretty fast. Wow, all right, hit next. So this is checking, meet Google Assistant. You'll hit continue here. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. All right, just say, okay, go unlock your device. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be pretty cool to add that there. This is a less secure feature. Yep, I understand. Just for now, we'll do that. All right, type in our pin. Actually, I actually should be able to confirm here. So my fingerprint. All right, back up to Google Drive, free up space when storage is smooth. Yep. Yep, install data and updates. We'll agree to all that for right now. Anything else? Add another email account, control off screen, review additional apps. No thanks. We'll jump right in. We'll check that later. Adding finishing touches. Bam! And there we are. All right, cool. So this is my first time to interact with Android 8.0. Pretty interesting here. All right, got my meal pass maybe for a little bit later there. All right, let's see here. Stock information, football information. Kind of go bouncer here to go to all settings and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and swipe from the top here. All right. You can see scores, games, this is doing updates of applications. We have our notification sheet here. We'll hop into settings here. Let's see, we have network internet storage, 9% used of about 116 gigabytes free. So we have our system here. You can see update Android 8.0. You check for updates to see if there's anything new and no, nope, nothing new just yet there. So, okay, cool. So, so far it's pretty, all right, pretty cool. I like the, I like this pixel UI that they put on top of it here. Like this little extra thing that you have with Google calendars that you can sort of add your next appointments and stuff like that right there at the top. The uh, display looks pretty nice here. So I kind of like a little bit of the curves here with it. Phone feels pretty good in the hand. Um, everything's looking good so far. So really right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up some applications, take some pictures, got all that stuff sort of going on with it here. But for right now, I just wanted to give you guys a quick unboxing here with the Pixel 2 XL. Questions, comments, concerns, things you want us to cover in the review. And while we have our, while we have this device in hand, please let us know in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching. Um, any, any of you guys wondering what we use for equipment here, definitely check out B, our links below and for the b &H photo links for all the gear we use in this video. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.